Many thanks for joining us. Now, the second day of the Makueni Senate Race Tribunal hearings saw the RABC Director of Voter Registration claim that Kathy's voter registration acknowledgement slip was stolen from the Commission's custody. The RABC official says the slip is among four other registration slips that disappeared from the booklet that was exclusively used to register the President and was sealed. And as KTN Samogina reports, the primary voters register, also known as the Green Book, for Langata constituency, revealed Kathy was not in the voters' register. The authenticity of Kathy Kilonzo's voter slip was damaged on the second day of the IEBC Dispute Resolution Tribunal hearing. The Electoral Agency's Director of Voter Registration, Immaculate Kasait, sensationally claimed Kathy's acknowledgement slip was stolen from an exclusive booklet that registered the former President Mwai Kibaki at the launch of the voter registration exercise. The booklet will be sealed not to be used to register anyone else. We did not recover the booklet. The booklet never left. It's only the slips which left. The, the slips were stolen from that booklet. Kathy's voter slip is alleged to be among four others missing from the exclusive booklet that was in the custody of the electoral agency manned by the manager of voter planning at IABC. This slip was in the custody of the commission and when we interrogated the acknowledgement, the, the booklet, this specific serial number and another four were missing from the commission. Certifying the authenticity of the slip as IABC's document Kasait was, however, hard pressed to explain how the slip left the agency's custody. I believe, like I have done, we have made a report to my supervisors, and this is a matter of investigation, members of the panel. Nonetheless, the official claimed Kathy's registration slip was never issued to anyone in the country. But she was challenged when the defense produced at least three voters cards with anomalies similar to Kathy's bearing deaths outside the registration period. Kathy's voter slip bears 2011 as her registration debt. Witness has made very serious allegations. We are going to take our time to interrogate this issue. It is that simple. Being undertaken as such in the biometric voter register he was unable to establish that Ms. Kathy Kilonzo was registered in the register. Kathy lost a tassel over scrutiny of two master voter registers, the Green Books, that were in the custody of IABC's warehouse. Her legal team had contested that the ballot box containing the Green Books had been tampered with by the National Intelligence Service, NIS, but were overruled. A further scrutiny of the Green Books indicated Diana Kefi Kilonzo was not on the Langata voters' roll. In the first book, was the name of Kefi Kilonzo there? No. The second book? No. The third book? No. On the flip side, IABC was put to task on various discrepancies appearing in their own polls book. Both the director of voter registration and the Langata returning officer caved in to the glaring inconsistencies that surfaced admitting that the registration process was indeed flawed. Meanwhile, the Jubilee aspirant and ANAC party, Professor Philip Kaloki's eligibility was also contested. The ruling on the two cases that is likely to shape the McWaney Senate seat race will be delivered on Monday. Samogina Ketian, Nairobi.